kick catch escape. What do you do if you throw a kick and they catch it? So first one, if you catch it, first one, if you notice that you've been caught immediately before they have a chance to solidify their grip, then here's what you do. So she throws the kick, I catch it. I haven't got it locked in, so very quickly she has an opportunity to turn and sink and take a giant kicking step to break free. Okay, a couple key things in this. When she throws the kick and catches it, when she turns, she wants to sink both knees. She sinks this knee so that weight is driving down and pulling it from my grip. She sinks that one so she's more stable because if it's locked out and she tries to pull, oftentimes she'll land on her face. And then she's gonna take a giant kicking step as far out as she can to make sure she gets clear. And then she's in a big fighting stance because I'll almost inevitably come after her. Okay, so that's if it's loose. Let's do the other side quick. On the other side, catch, turn, sink, kick, free. All right. What happens if it's tight? This is much more dangerous. Uh, oftentimes, by the time they get locked in, you're gonna be on the ground, but if you manage to react quickly enough, then you can do this. She throws a kick, I have it locked in. Okay, so rather than trying to get away, she realizes this isn't gonna work, so she's gonna reach past my head and then squeeze her elbows together and put all the weight on my neck, and from there, she's bending this as much as she can and taking a giant step backwards, and then she just throws me this. And then as soon as she lets go, she throws me up to the side. Or she can throw elbows or whatever she knows how to do from there. When you're doing this grip, there's something called a gable grip. So if you do a gable grip, if you clap awkwardly, so you're not clapping, then turn one hand up about 90 degrees, turn to a hook, it's a gable grip. So I'm not using any fingers, I'm using my wrists and all my fingers combined as one single hook. So that's strong, and then when she's grabbing on my head, it's like she's trying to crush my head like a walnut in between her arms. And you know, some people can actually kind of choke you out if they manage to get on your carotid artery, or it's really painful, they can get on your jawline. So her main goal is to hold on, and then from there, sink weight, and then as a bonus, she's gonna try and crush.